there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so glad you stopped in today to take a look at my 2021 favorites in face products. And I have another video which I will hopefully link below that is my 2021 lip and eye products. I just had so many favorites that it would have made a hugely long video. So I'm going to go ahead and break the two videos apart. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that help us look and feel our best at 50 plus, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you could give this video a thumbs up, that would be just great. Okay, let's get into this, but first a little housekeeping. You may notice that I don't have anything behind me, at least not directly behind me. I don't have that picture behind me. I had a couple of viewers say that it was a little distracting to have that behind me. I feel a little bare, quite honestly. If you could let me know in the comment section if you like it better with or without the kind of gray floral picture, that would be great. And another request I've had from viewers is to show you my outfits and give you the links. So just over beside me on one side or the other, I will show you what I'm wearing and I actually bought this sweater last year from Amazon. It's only like $35 and it still looks fabulous. It looks as new as the day that I got it but it is this batwing red sweater and on the bottom I have Levi straight 724 jeans and the jewelry that I have on is linked below too. Okay let's get into these favorites. I'm so excited to share this with you. This first one is a foundation favorite and I just found this. Well I picked this up at the Sephora sale maybe around the middle of December and I absolutely love it and it is what I have on my face today. I feel like I'm too far away from you. I'm going to move in here and basically they call this a slip tint which is a little bit like a BB cream but it has an SPF of 35 and it is supposedly a light coverage product although it's buildable to definitely a medium coverage and although I do like to cover up all the flaws on my skin amazingly I think that this product does it. It is not too matte, it is not too shiny, it just nulls out your imperfections and makes your skin look like good healthy skin. Okay, my next foundation favorite, I discovered this again maybe three or four months ago and it is crazy because everybody in America loves this foundation and I had had it and I'd used it before but for some reason it never made a big impact on me and I saw that SkinStore.com had it on sale and I love SkinStore because they're always doing sales and I have a discount code perpetually under my video so you can get products like this at a discount and things like this are hard to find at a discount. That's why I really like SkinStore. In fact, I actually use my discount code to go and buy things there. But anyway, this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup and I have it in the color 2-in-1 Desert Beige and I'm not wearing it today, but this foundation is absolutely like dreamy if you want a medium to full coverage foundation. And it is not super matte looking. It's a little bit of a fresh finish on your face, but it pretty much covers every imperfection on your face if you build it up. You can apply it with a medium coverage and let some of your freckles and things show, or you can build it up and it absolutely gives you that flawless skin finish. And I am a full coverage girl pretty much, although as I get older that, that gets harder, but as much as I like full coverage, this gives me the full coverage without really exacerbating the fine lines and wrinkles. And if you want a more bargain product, I have two foundations actually that I absolutely love. The first is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless and this is absolutely beautiful. And they have this in a dewy finish and I thought I would like that better so I purchased that too. You know, it was too greasy looking. I have slightly oily skin still at 60 plus and it is just a little too oily for me but this Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless absolutely is a beautiful foundation. Very comparable to any high end I've used. I get it in the color 128 Warm Nude and in the color 125 Nude Beige. Both of those colors work equally as well for me. I just grab whichever one is handy. And I really like this because it goes on smooth and beautiful. It's a medium coverage foundation, but it is buildable to a very full coverage foundation. It is not super matte. It does say the word matte, but it is not that dry, dusty matte. It is just really a realistic skin look, which I really appreciate. And this one is kind of tied with the Maybelline Fit Me, and this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear. And if the word matte in the Maybelline Fit Me scares you a little bit, then this would be the drugstore priced foundation for you. This is a lovely foundation, just as good as the Maybelline Fit Me. And I have it in the color 430, which is probably some sort of nude or beige. Those are usually my, my color families there, nude and or beige. 
But anyway, this goes on just like the Maybelline Fit Me, but it has a little bit more of a, I wouldn't say dewy, but a little bit more of a skin-like glow to it. And it gives you that flawless look, which is what we all want in our skin. Certainly I do. I have a lot of imperfections and I like to cover them up. This does a beautiful job with that. And they say it lasts 24 hours. I'm not sure about that, but I do know that when I put my makeup on at 6.30 in the morning and I get clear to about 10 o'clock at night when I'm removing my makeup, this makeup still just looks beautiful. My next makeup faves for 2021 are actually makeup tools, and these are incredible. And these brushes are the BK Beauty brushes. These are basically a couple of kits of the BK Beauty brushes. And I used to use a ton of different brushes from a lot of different brands. I must have 400 brushes. But the minute I got these, I just love them. And all of a sudden, all of the other ones went by the wayside, and I used these. And the Angie brushes came out a couple of months ago, and when they first came out, I thought, oh, this has got to be marketing. You know, Angie's a great woman. I love her channel, and I think she's got a lot of integrity, but I thought, how in the world can these Angie brushes be any better than the BK Beauty brushes? And amazingly enough, they are. And the reason that they are is because Angie spent about a year's time, along with Lisa J, designing these brushes, and they are designed for our more mature eyelids. These aren't brushes for 30-year-olds. These are perfect if you're 50 and above, I would say, even 45 and above, amazingly, they consider a 45-year-old a mature beauty, which seems pretty young to me. But I absolutely love these brushes. And somewhere I have her concealer brush. Oh gosh, I think it's buried. Oh, here it is. And I think I may be missing one of them right now. They tend to get all mangled together. But the things I like the most about these brushes are this fabulous concealer brush. This is the A506. I have never experienced a concealer brush as good as this. It is soft as mink, and for some reason, it just puts on that concealer beautifully, and it really does help your under eyes have a younger, fresher look. I absolutely love this blush brush that Angie has. At first, I thought I'd be disappointed because I don't generally like brushes with that particular shape, but then I saw her use it, and I am totally sold. Basically, what you do is you put the blush up here, and then you buff it this way, and then you turn it on its side, and then you're buffing to the side. And it just gives you a beautifully smooth, natural look on your blush every time, just beautiful. And then these eye brushes are like crazy great. The 501 is just to pack that shadow on your lid, and it's soft and wonderful. And then the 502 is a fabulous crease brush, and it just helps us get exactly where we need to be in the crease. But this little guy is the Wonder Worker, and this is the A504. And what this is, this is to help you get that little outer V area. It's a little tiny brush, if you can see that. And basically, you pull up your skin there, and you just put that little V in there, like a seven. Ooh, I need to look in my mirror. <laughs> Looking in the monitor does not help. But this is a fantastic brush and really does help you up your eyeshadow game. And this is a great little blender. And that's one of the problems that older women make, actually any woman, is not blending enough. This blending brush is fabulous. I can't recommend these highly enough. And there is a discount code under the video if you'd like to follow the link and learn more. Now, when you're applying foundation, it's important to use a great face brush. And this is the 101, the BK Beauty 101, which is just wonderful. And what I do is I take this brush and I give it like four or five sprays with this Urban Decay setting spray, just spritz, spritz, spritz. And then I dab the foundation all over my face and then just use the brush to go over it. And I have tried other setting sprays, but so far this one is the best one. I've used this for about three years and it is still a favorite. Okay, the next two products are for blackness around your eyes and beside your nose, and I definitely have that. The first one is the Pixi Peach Corrector, and this is absolutely wonderful. There you see it's just a little peach corrector, and you just put it all the way under your eyes and in those black corners of your nose, and you do that before you apply your concealer. And I've been using this for maybe about five months, and it is a game changer. And then I really need the big guns because I do have a lot of black marks in here. And I have been using the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. And this is actually two little concealer sticks. And I use the darker one mostly. Let me see which one that is. Okay, here it is. And how this works is it has two ends and you just go right in there to that darkness and just apply that to that darkness. Got a little darkness down here anywhere you have darkness. And like if you have a little bag under your eye, what you do is you use this just in that dark part and it visually brings that bag up to where it doesn't look like a bag anymore. 
I think this is absolutely a game-changing product and I was so glad to have found it. Now for concealers, I have two of them, a high end, and this is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Concealer. And this has the Angie seal of approval. And ever since the day I first got it, I have loved it. It absolutely covers everything under your eyes. And I do tend to have big black veins down there. This covers that up, but it does not settle into your fine lines and wrinkles. And if you would like a great concealer, but at a drugstore price, I would say this is almost equally as good as the Lancome Tint Idol. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect, and I have this one in the color 125 Natural, and it is a beautiful high coverage concealer, but it looks soft and smooth and really does blur out those fine lines and wrinkles under your eyes. And I use the Lancome Tint Idol in the color, oh gosh, what is it? <laughs> These peepers are one of my favorite things too. Uh, what color is this? And I look for the color that I use at the bottom of the tube, and it's kind of rubbed off. So I'll do a little research and I'll put that under the video. Now, the next step in a good face makeup is to apply powder. And I have two of them again, a high end, this is the high end, and a low end. And this is the Kevin Aquan Loose Powder. It just comes in one shade, which is a beautiful translucent. Absolutely love this one. And it even comes with a little powder puff, which I use a lot of the time. It is really a good quality item there. That had a little powder on it, which was helpful. And then the powder puff just sits in this little plastic protection here. And then there is that powder, and it's just a little fine milled, beautiful off-white powder. And it just is so smooth and so buttery, absolutely a beautiful powder. And it helps really null out those pores and of course gets rid of shine. It just tends to give me kind of a glossy, glassy finish to my skin that most other powders don't seem to. Now for my drugstore fave, it's kind of grimy because I've had it for a couple of years, but I keep coming back to this. I love this. This is the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect Powder, and it is in the color Translucent 916. And here it is, and I'll just go ahead and shake a little bit of that out, and I'll try to tell you if there's any difference. This one feels very soft too, maybe not quite as soft as the Kevin Aquan Powder, but it really does the trick. It does not look cakey on your skin and it does cut the oil and I think it really does blur out pores. Okay, now let's get into blush faves and I absolutely love blush. There's nothing that wakes your face up and makes it look more beautiful and more radiant so instantly as blush. And I have two high ends here. I couldn't decide between the two. And actually one is a powdered blush and then one is a kind of a gel creamy blush. And as we get older, I'm finding that the cream form blushes really do look good on our skin. But this is the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Swish and Pop Blusher in the color Love Glow. And I am really getting down in the pan there. It is absolutely beautiful. The thing I like about it is, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a beautiful little pink center, which is kind of a matte. And then on the outside, there is a beautiful highlighter here that is really kind of a highlighter blush. And the reason they call it Swish and Pop is you're supposed to like swish the brush around here and pop it in the center and then just put a little bit on your cheeks. Isn't that just beautiful? Oh, I love that. But I wanna save a little room because I'm going to show you the next blush, which is a blush I've been crazy about lately. And these are the Rare Beauty blushes, and I have four of them. And I usually use the color Nearly Apricot, but you know, I think I'll use a different one today. I really don't need any blush, but I'll put a little bit more on. This one is called Nearly Neutral, and I think it would work with what I'm wearing. So I'll just put the, the littlest amount up here because I really have enough blush on. I always do this. I come out here and it's like I'm sitting with my girlfriends and I'm like, here, look at this, look at this. Okay, I put on a lot because I wanted you to see what it looked like, but I use this Angie brush. And again, you take it and you just go up and down, up and down, up and down, and then you turn it on its side and then you buff, 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 buff. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, that is a beautiful blush. They call it Rare Beauty and it's kind of appropriate, I think because blush does that for us. It just gives us that beautiful, healthy radiance that we really can't get with anything else. I always go a little bit up there too, but isn't that a beautiful, beautiful blush? Absolutely love those Rare Beauty blushes. Now I do have a more drugstore priced blush that I've really been liking. In fact, it is six of them, and this is the Profusion Cosmetics Blush Palette number no. three. And I guess I don't have any more space on my face to put blush on. But look at these absolutely beautiful, warm colors. I love them. And basically what I do is I take my blush brush and I'll go over a couple of them. This Fantasia is beautiful and has just a little bit of a glow to it. 
This punch is really pretty and it looks like it would be horrible, but it really does blend out beautifully. And I really like this Bliss, which is kind of an orangey pinky color. And then this color, Stay Coral, is just a beautiful little highlighter that can go over your blush. Oh gosh, I wanna put some of that on. Oh my gosh, it is so beautiful. But anyway, the wonderful thing about these is not only do you get a huge amount of product and it is very good quality product that hangs around on your skin, I think this blush palette is like five bucks. Okay, my next category is actually full face contour palettes. And these are contours and highlighters. And for those of you who followed my channel, you know that I have loved the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow palette for like years. In fact, I have this one where I've hit pan and I have another one because I don't wanna run out. This is a fantastic blush palette if you really prefer more of a matte look. Here is the contour shade and it is just a, a very universal brownish gray, which is what you need to look natural under there. And then this highlighter is absolutely beautiful. However, it goes on very, very lightly on the skin. So if you don't like a strobe look, then you will really like this. This is a fantastically neutral looking way to apply contour and highlighter. Now, I bought the big kahuna at the Sephora sale and I'm so excited about it. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Nudegasm palette. And this is for ladies who want a little bit more drama and a little bit more glow. It has a huge mirror there, which I really appreciate. And then it has, basically, they call these two bronzers down here. However, I use this one as a contour because it is the perfect gray-brown contour color. And then this one can be your bronzer. And it's a very natural looking bronzer on your skin. This is the most beautiful highlighter ever. It's like a beautiful champagne color. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm gonna put a little bit of that on too. Oh my. But anyway, very, very pretty. And then this is, oh my gosh, I wanna put this on too. This is really a blush highlighter and it is in a beautiful apricot color. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, look how pretty. I just went like, my skin just kind of glowed right there, didn't it? Absolutely beautiful, very, very pretty. So this is a great one. If you're looking for a very good quality palette, this is a good one. And if you want a great contour and highlighter palette, but cost is an issue that is certainly understandable in this day and age for sure. But this is again, a Profusion Cosmetics palette and it is beautiful and I think it is under $5. It's just amazing. But look at that. I just dipped my finger in there accidentally and scarred my palette, oh well. But anyway, this is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer, very natural looking bronzer. Here is a gorgeous highlighter, really pretty. And there is a beautiful coral blush, really pretty. And this one is really a highlighter, but this one is really more of a highlighter for your blush, because as you can see, when I accidentally divoted it, it came out a little pink. So this would be over here with the blush, and over on this side would be your pure highlighter if you just wanted to do a little champagne highlighting. And this feels so soft and so silky, absolutely beautiful. Very, very pretty, and you can't beat the price. And next I have two drugstore products, one a highlighter and one a bronzer. And this one is absolutely fabulous and you all know about it, I'm sure. You'd have to be under a rock to not know about this. But this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzet. I love this thing. At any price, I don't find anything that is better than this. This is such an absolutely beautiful shade of bronzer. It is so natural and it is so universal. This is the product in the color light, which this is what I've used for three years. I think this is my second palette, but look at that thing, how much product you get. It is just crazy. And I think it's around $10. It's amazing. And then I really do love this. This is so cute. This is the I Love Revolution Tasty Peach. What this is, is a very kind of traditional champagne highlighter. And there that is, absolutely beautiful. And then it has this gorgeous blush highlighter shade. Look at that. That is just pretty as all get out. And what a nice little present that would make for someone. It is so cute. Just looking at it makes me happy. Now I have two final face favorites in my 2021 faves. And the first is something that makes it in there every single year. And this is fabulous. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Flawless Finish Powder. And I can't find anything I like better than this. I really can't. This is something that I keep in my purse with me and I look a little shiny right now for, probably from putting all that highlighter on, but I'll go ahead and take a little of this. Unfortunately, it does not come with its own powder puff. This is an old one that I have from like a, probably a CoverGirl palette, although I don't think they even provide them. That's something they used to provide and now they don't. But anyway, did you see, I shouldn't have been talking, 
Look how that just kind of takes off the extra shine on your face and just makes everything look kind of flawless. And you know, it never fails. Every morning I, I do my makeup here in the makeup room and then I go to work and I'll be looking in the rear view mirror on the way to work and I'll think, oh my gosh, I thought my makeup looked good, but I really look greasy. Always I take this out and just do a few little dabs and all of a sudden it perks my makeup up and this powder lasts a long time and it doesn't get cakey. This is a fabulous, fabulous powder. If you're looking for something that kind of gives you that movie star flawless finish, this is a great one. Now, my last product is something I've discovered in the last month or so, and I love this thing. This is the Pore Professional Super Setter, and it is by Benefit. And this is the little travel size version. I bought this at Sephora, but I've been using it like every single day. I have really never experienced a setting spray that does such a good job of both setting your makeup and also giving you a nice glow. And as I mentioned, I love the Urban Decay setting spray, but this one to me excels at helping you put on your foundation. You know, you use this one to spray on your brush. With this one, when you spray it on at the end of a makeup, I've done that before, but it kind of has heavy little droplets. That's my beef really with all of these setting sprays, that most of them tend to really spray big droplets on your face. And when those big droplets get on your makeup, I just don't think that's a good look. But I love this one because look at this, I'm going to go ahead and put it on. I'm a little bit matte now and I'm going to go ahead and spray it on and this goes on with this totally fine mist. Never, I've never seen a setting spray with such a fine mist. There it is. Ooh, <coughs> it always makes me want to cough though, I have to admit that. But look, it just gave my skin just that little bit of radiance, just makes it look a little less powdery, a little more glowy. Absolutely love this. And a beautiful thing about this is if you have large pores like me, it really does help to blur them out. Well, that was a look at my 2021 favorites. And if you have favorite makeup items that you love, then I hope you'll share the information below the video in the comment section. Or if you have some favorites that I didn't include, please mention those too, because I would really like to get your input on the products that you use and enjoy. Now, in the last portion of this video, I'm just going to do what I call a little bit of a makeup minute, but this isn't makeup. And I just want your opinion on if I should do a video about these. This is the false scara, it's called, and it is a revolutionary way to apply false eyelashes. And I saw a video by supermodel Paulina Peritskova. I don't think I said that right, but she absolutely loved these. And if you would like me to apply them for you and show them to you, they're really fascinating and they seem to be so much easier than applying strip lashes because basically you just put the lashes in little clumps underneath your existing lashes. If you'd like to learn more about these lashes and see me apply them, please leave a comment in the comment section below the video. And thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.